Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's November 15th, 2023. Nice, uh, brisk, cool morning this morning. Frost on the ground out there. And uh, real fortunate today that uh, my friends at the town garage gave me a holler. Uh, we, we're, we're fortunate enough to have a couple of small, old, old cemeteries uh, near where we live here in our small little town. And uh, the groundskeeper there who takes care of, mows the lawns, doesn't use any chemicals on the lawns at all. Uh, he, during the fall time, uh, he goes ahead and uses a big blower on the back of the tractor and makes a big pile of leaves and then made a, like a rake in front of the tractor and pushes them up into a great big pile. And then the town comes down and uh, load them up into the back of their uh, big uh, trucks. Uh, Ten-wheeler trucks, uh, which are used for snow blowing and sanding and salting the, the roads and all. So I just got two loads. They'll probably end up getting two more, maybe three more loads. And uh, so I'm back here with the Hulk right now. They went ahead and brought two loads, and I just piled them up right up over there. Uh, about several days ago we did have about a half inch of rain the most we've had in a while and where i have the wood chips put up front in the front of the property uh we're fortunate enough to have a tree service come by and uh it, well it's it's a it, it's a tree service it's a big professional one that goes around and cleans up alongside the roads and so they were operating three trucks yesterday and they dumped off three loads two of which i had to pull out with the hulk uh, because it's so soft up there the ground is so we're coming back here this is where i do the deco decomposing or composting people would call it it's really we're not really doing thermophilic composting of it uh, but we'll use these leaves to go ahead and use as an insulation bed packing around the fig trees we'll try and create a video about that and we did it last fall as well but it's it's really fantastic that uh that i have this opportunity to have Great guys from the town. Uh, it's shorter distance to, to drop them off here than to go to the town uh, garage where they have a big pile where they uh, put all of this material and all and then they burn it and all. So it works out. It doesn't go in the atmosphere. Ends up coming to someone who can use it. Uh, we're fortunate enough no chemicals are used in the, in the lawn. Uh, there will be some, oh, like an American flag because of Veterans Day. Uh, uh, or, or Memorial Day. There will be flags every once in a while. Sometimes there will be uh, the artificial flowers that, that I'll find, but I'll go through all the leaves and all and uh, remove all those things. So it's a good organic source for us. Uh, I used to go into the nearby town and take my dump trailer and just load up all the bags of leaves. If you go back several years in our videos, you'd see back here there were just piles and piles of bags of leaves. And uh, and this time of year when you have snow and rain, uh, it's a real hassle and you get soaking wet doing that. So this actually works out much better. So we'll see. The guys will probably be coming back pretty soon and we'll get a load. Pretty cool, huh?
Okay, I just got the last load. It's a partial load, so it's not as big. Uh, so this is, I'll leave this here for right now and I'll start grabbing it with uh, Mini Me. And uh, maybe after breakfast, start doing some of the, uh, the fig trees. Pretty cool. Real fortunate that this works out for the town, <laughs> works out for us. <clears throat> It'll be good insulation, good organic uh, material for our gardens. It's a win-win for everyone. I hope everybody can find resources in your communities that can help you uh, establish good relationships and, and utilize the resources so that they don't end up in a landfill or end up in a burning pile. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and take good care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.